So the, the, the world is looking for this date. 2-22-2022. Now, if you look at those numbers and you add them, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2, it's 12, which is the number of government. It's the number of government. Now, what government? So they, they say, and, and I, was, I was reading where something, somebody said, I don't know if they were believers, I don't think so. I mean, well, I know they wasn't because they were just, they, they, you know, they just do their own power thing. They said, it's a, it's a, it's a portal that's going to open and bring a gover- a, a changing of governments and authorities and stuff. Now, now listen to what they're saying. So you can add that up and see where they got that because they can only walk through time and numbers. They use numbers like steps and dates according to Daniel 7, 25, which backs all of that up. So 2, 22, 20, sums 12, which is government. Now we need to know what government, okay? Well, let's, let's go into multiplication and we can find it. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2022 is 1776. So the government they're looking to change began in 1776. It's connected to that date. Now, according to information, it was in 1777. Now we need to know the year that it was planned that they're going to change the government that began or that was founded in 1776. I realize the Constitution was later. I I know that. But 1776 is the date of the nation. On the back of the $1 bill, it says at the bottom of the pyramid, 1776. So, in 1777, the Freemason lodges... It formed. Now, it is said and done by Freemasonry in the hierarchy. Every time a president is, a, is inaugurated, they raise the spirit of Osiris to possess the American president. Now, their goal is to bring in the new world order. And when they do their rituals in the top floor with their, their aprons and their, and their uh, worshipful master who sits on the throne and all of that, you, yeah, yeah I, I, I knew it about that. And so he's sitting on the throne, worshipful master. They stand there with their swords in front of them. And when you approach him, they say, uh, I am that I am. And you have to approach the worshipful master and they mingle the holy name of Yah with two other pagan gods. They're trying to bring in a new world order. A lot could be said about this. And so when they they put their first lodge in 1777 to bring about the new world order, and if you add 1777, 1 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, it is 22. So now we know the government's going to change in 222, 222. And the government that's, that they're planning on changing, it was founded in 1776. And the year they're planning on changing it is 22, told by the Masonic order. This is all a carefully thought out plan. This is not something fake, my brother and sister. It's not conspiracy. This is very real. And it's a very carefully thought out plan. And I'm going to show you some things about it. In 2008, see, in in 2015, the Lord showed me a calendar. I was sitting right over there. And he said, uh, he said, sum the year. I said, two plus one, or two plus zero plus one plus five. Eight. I said, praise God, Lord, it's eight. Wonderful. It's eight. New beginnings. He said, now sum the whole calendar. And he led me to start from the year 2000. 
because of the good Samaritan. Two days wages. One day is a thousand years. A thousand years is one day. And so I began to sum this calendar. And he told me how far to take it. And then within this calendar, some amazing things showed up. Put the picture of the calendar up uh, with the first quarter, the long one. And I, maybe I can just do it all at one time very quickly. No, the other one, not that one. The one with the long quarter. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. You could do that one too. Okay, you see it? Well, you see it. Well, you don't see it now. Okay. You got it? All right. See up there, 2000 equals 2, 2001 equals 3, 2002 equals 4, so on and so forth. If you go across the top of it, it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to 2060. If you go down vertically, it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But you started at 2, so that's 10. And at the, every time he gets to a 10, it starts over at the top of the next column, and it's consecutive that way. If you go from 2,000 where it's no, the number 2 and you go diagonally, you look at it, it works. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, so on. You go uh, 2,001 that sums 3. It's 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and so forth. It's all counting by 2's all the way down no matter what number it may be. Then if you look, uh, you can look at the, the very top and it's, and it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But if you go to the bottom at 2,069, sum those totals and 1 plus 7 is 8, 1 plus 6 is 7. It's exactly like the top. It's actually 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You see that? Yes, I hope so. Now, at the top, it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sum the totals at the bottom and it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So at the top, it's 35 if you add the sums. At the bottom, it's 35 if you add the sums. That's 70. 7 plus 0 is 7. A se a 7 plus 0 is 7. That's a complete calendar, 7. Now, now watch this. And, and if you go look at the top, you got 2 at 2,000, 8 at 260. 8 plus 2 is 10. Keep coming in. 7 plus 3 is 10. 6 plus 4 is 10. And then you got 5. 35. You see? Go at the bottom, it's the same thing. So you've got 35, 2035. Hmm. What was going to happen there? Well, uh, since the resurrection of Jesus, the ascension of Jesus, legally 2,000 years is 2030 to 2033, somewhere in that area, is the legal 2,000 years since Jesus rose from the dead. Suddenly in 2008, Hillary Clinton was cast down and Barack Obama was put up in her place to run for president. He became president, but now the Bible says that Satan seals up the sum. So look at 2008, 10, go over to 18, it sums 11, down is 12. Go back to 8 is 10, down to 9 is 11, over is 12. 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12, it makes a box. It seals the sum of time. It seals the sum. Now you've got to go up to the next 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. But it's got to fall within the 35. And so the next one is 2035. Make a square there, 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. Put your lines to each square corner, and you've got a corridor or a portal through time. Okay, I, I, hope that's not, I hope I made that clear enough. I, I know you can understand if I can say it right because I don't have an active screen to draw it for you. But can you see that? Now you've created a corridor of time. Barack Obama became president in 2009. He was nominated in 2008. Now watch this. They opened a corridor in time past the time of Jesus' return. This is in their legal times. Now, I don't know if he's coming at that time because we can move time around like Hezekiah. Yeah. But according to legal time, which is the only sense the devil's got, he's kind of dense when it comes to spiritual matters. Jesus said, I saw him fall like lightning from heaven. So he manipulates math and times and seeks to change dates and times and seasons and laws. Yeah. Everybody with me? Y'all with me on that, right? People are with me, right? Yeah. Okay, now watch this. And you can go back and watch it again if you need to. But there's all kinds of combinations on this calendar. I mean combinations that will absolutely make you just astound you. And it's complete 
at 2069. So from 2000, we begin a prophetic cycle that that completes right there. So in 2008, somebody knew how to open a corridor or a portal. They knew how. Now somebody knew how, and they went past the legal time of Jesus' return to the time of the tribulation. And then at, when that corridor was open, Barack Obama began to act like the Antichrist. Oh, he did. They called him the anointed one. He began to, he was, he, he even had, you know, it, they even thought he did a cameo appearance as Satan in the Bible series. Every decision he made was just like the Antichrist. They called him Messiah. They called him the anointed one. They called him this. They called him that. And he had everything going his way. And he was acting so wild and so funny because I don't have time to tell you, but he threw his 28 years into the future when he became the president. That's why it went to 2035. Because the timeline was stolen. Jezebel did not get run over. So you get over there. I don't know what that is, but, uh, but it's part of that calendar. So you get over there at 2035. Uh, you can... You can, oh, really? Okay. Okay, yeah, okay, great. So you get over there to, to 2035, and you see you're 28 years or so in the future. You're over in here. You get on over in here. 